This was the only one we could get. Gizzy escaped, but he's a friend of his. No sign of Jordan. I guess this will do. Thank you. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, sorry. Did you miss the big announcement that went around the country? I just killed your former president, Harold, and I am taking over. I am looking for Gizzy and Jordan. Wait, what? It's beautiful. They're chanting my name. I finally did something with my life. So about the whole killing the president thing, you were joking, right? <laughs> nope. Good and dead. Look around you. This is the apocalypse. And I'm offering you a place on the good side. I just need you to get Gizzy and Jordan for me. Never! I would rather die! Or, or jail. Jail is also fine. I, I would never betray my friends, though. You can't survive this on your own. You've been captured by the leader of all the crazies. They serve me. They look up to me and obey me. If you find Gizzy and Jordan, I can spare you. First of all, Jordan's already dead. That church is where he was buried if you don't believe me. And second of all, why do you care so much about those two? <laughs> Jordan is dead! Yes! <laughs> ah, that makes things easier. Gizzy and Jordan were both responsible for saving Harold last year and ending Purge. They're the reason the apocalypse has begun! Wouldn't technically Harold's choice of ending the Purge be the reason of the apocalypse? Most of us were happy with Asset being president. Purge once a week? Are you kidding? Oh, I was thrilled. But it only lasted for one week. Gizzy and Jordan stepped in and saved that lunatic. Well, it felt great killing him. You're crazy. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Let me introduce you to my secret weapon. This is my gold gun. It shoots hot melting gold. Pretty cool, right? I use it on all the crazies, as a symbol of what they have become and who they work for. As a reminder. Don't worry, I won't use this on your body. I just need you to agree to help find Gizzy and join me, and I promise I won't use this on your flesh. It's very painful. But, but I, I'm not crazy. The only time I've purged was clearing out pirates in the ocean. I, I was doing everyone a favor. But it was my co-workers that pulled the trigger. I'm not saying you're crazy. But you're my only in right now to finding Gizzy. Find Gizzy. Tell me where he is. And you can walk free. Try to run away and we'll hunt you down and make sure your death is very painful. This is the apocalypse. We will find you. You will not be able to outrun us. Okay, fine. I'll hunt down Gizzy. Good boy. Oh, uh, before you run off, I mean, uh, I didn't say anything about shooting hot, melting gold inside of you. Wait, what? I'm ever so sorry I had to do that. That was hard for me to do. Please understand. That must have been very painful. I had to show you I don't joke around. You didn't believe me when I told you I killed Harold. I'm capable of murder. I'm capable of torture. I actually love it. I wanted to show you I don't get around. Now move on, old man. You have work to do. Oh, you probably won't be able to talk for a very long time. The gold is going to weld your mouth shut permanently. Hey, you're alive. Have fun hunting. and my husband is dead. Dexter took over the world. 
This is the apocalypse. What do we do? Where do we go? Uh, I might actually have some suggestions. Well, what is it, Cole? Well, my brother is actually a scientist. What if we find a cure? Hey, like some kind of anti antidote to all these people going crazy? Yeah, this seems like a mental thing because it seems like people who used to be able to purge and want to purge, who has ever killed someone because of the purge, are now crazy. Actually... What's up, Tink? Yeah, um, my... Well, Harold told me to find a cure because I've been searching it too. But it has something we've been thinking about. So maybe we could find your brother and team up with him and help find a cure. Okay, so that sounds like a new plan. We don't have any other plans, so I guess we all just gotta team up and go to... Rockies. Well, hold on now. I'm not going. I've gotta find Rachel. Well, but wait, are you kidding? We There's an apocalypse going on. Rachel just killed Nancy and caused Jordan's death too. We don't... There's, there's no way that you wanna do that. But look, I was brainwashed. I was brainwashed for a long time. I finally have feelings for her again and she doesn't know it. I need to find her and let her know that I still love her. Even with an apocalypse going on? Dude, you could die. I'm Darko. I'm not afraid of anything. I've spent the last couple of seasons being a coward and being brainwashed by someone. Either if it was Ace or Herobrine. Well, no more. I'm gonna stand on my own two feet and fight again. I'm gonna fight for what I believe in. I'm gonna fight for my love. Well, speaking of Ace, guys, we have a message from beyond the grave. The tape recorder from Ace. Place it up here. Okay, so gather around, kids. It's time to listen to my dad from beyond the grave. Uh, Gizzy, I, I am terrified because of this. You know, um, the guy who brainwashed me. And he was a friend of mine years ago, and I'm nervous to what he has to say. Well, me too, but... Hey, I don't want to listen to my dad again. He admitted he killed my son, and then he told me I had a brother who ends up being dead. And then he also captured us, and yeah, it's just... I don't like this man. All right. Okay. If you're listening to this message, it's because you've destroyed my cafe, or you've worked with me in the past. Either way, if you're listening to this message, I'm dead. A message from beyond the grave. I have some secrets that I needed to reveal before I was gone forever. I just couldn't do this face to face. I have a message for my dearest friend, Darko. Along with a message for my son, Gizzy. Darko, I slept with Rachel before you met her. What? 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 And we both don't know who Billy's real father is. This was something I just couldn't tell you to your face. I grew to like you. Rachel didn't cheat on you. We had a fun time before you both met. But Billy could be my son. Uh, B Billy? Billy might not even be mine? And Rachel kept this secret? Doctor, Doctor, relax. It's... We'll, we'll figure this out. Gizzy. Oh, sh oh, it's my turn. You have a brother. His name is Johnson. I'm not sure exactly where he is. Well, I already knew this. You told me this. And he's dead. Johnson's dead. <sighs> also, I told you I killed your mother. But that was a lie. What? Your mother is actually alive. Both your brother and your mother are alive, Gizzy. Go find them. My... My mom? Why would he tell me that she's dead? Why haven't I seen her growing up or ever? What the... My mom's alive? Oh, wow. That must... That must be great news. Congratulations. I hate my mother! Wait, what? Why would she keep that secret? Why would she not come and find me and save me? It's been purged once a year ever since I was young. Like, she didn't want to keep me safe? And Ace told me that she died and she didn't even come and find me? What the? I hate her. I don't hope to never see her. I don't ever want to see her. Oh, um, good, yeah. Uh, well, at least your mother is out there if you at least change your mind and want to see her, right? Nope, never want to see her. 
Well, I've got to go and find Rachel. Not only because I miss her, but I need to know the truth. Is, is Billy my son? Or Aces? Could this, after all this time, Billy was my half-brother? Or... Gizzy, not a good time. Sorry, uh, yeah, you should go do that. Um, yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll accept that us five, me, Core, Roxanne, Tink, and Lois, we're gonna go to the Biodome to find Core's brother, Rocky, when you go and find Rachel. Do you know where you're even gonna start? I have a hunch. I know one place that she might go. I've gotta go check it out, though. So I bid to you all a farewell, and good luck to the apocalypse. I hope we meet again. Me too, Darko. Please let me know about the update with Billy and let me know about Rachel. And tell Rachel that I'd advise her not to join us again. She's kind of out of the heroes. She's no longer a hero. I understand that because she killed Nancy and Kors and made Jordan's death and almost tried to kill me too. Okay. I hope to see you guys again soon. And if I don't, take care. Bye, Darko. Bye. Wow, that's a, that's a big shock for him. Turns out the son that died over a year ago might actually not be his son. That's... That's brutal. Anyways, so back to this storyline. We need to go to your brother. Yes, that's correct. We need to find my brother. He's in the Biodome. It's kind of nearby-ish. Gonna be kind of a walk. We've got to be extra careful. You're right. And well, it's during the day too. So who knows my, what, what, what would happen. Okay. Girls, are you ready? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Well, let's go to the biodome. A bounty for Gizzy and Jordan. Find them and kill them. Mom, can I look at the TV screen now? No. Why don't you run upstairs for me? I need to figure this out. But, Mom! Please, let me go upstairs. This isn't a game. Honey, I'm home. Dad, are you gonna say that every time? And so, something is very wrong. Did you see the news? The news? Babe, I was in the mines all afternoon. President were just killed. Live on national television. What? Son, go upstairs to your sister. But... Now! I need to speak with your mother. Tell me everything. The, the man who killed him, it's him. It's your boss, Dexter. Dexter? You're crazy! Don't say that, it's... Their word now. They're calling themselves... The crazies. To those that purge, they have a trigger inside them that would turn them crazy. Look, we're safe. We're in the middle of nowhere. But we do have another problem. We're out of gold. What do you mean we're out of gold? All the gold mines are dried up. All gone. Vanished. And if Dexter killed the president, that means he's gonna want more gold. If you don't want to get more gold, then he's gonna hurt us. Or worse, our children. And I know you're both listening. I won't let anyone hurt me, Dad. I'm a fighter like my big sister. Demi, you're right. And I said, don't talk about your big sister in this house. Dad, she's scared. We all are. I'm not scared. Can we all just stop arguing? This isn't the time to argue. No one knows we're here. No one can hurt us and we will all just be safe here. Actually, myself and Evan need to go out to get more gold in case Dexter comes hunting us. What? Why does Evan have to go as well? I need to go to a competitor's mine and steal gold. I can't do that on my own. That's a suicide mission. I will need help. Plus, with these crazies out in the world too, I need backup. Dad? Dad? You'll be safe here. Just stay inside. Take my spare gun and wait in the basement. If anyone comes running, text me. As soon as I get the signal, and I'll see a text, I'll come running. Dad! What? Someone's outside! You of all people need to get out of here. I just need to see Rachel. I, I just need to talk to her. Last I heard of her, she ran off with you because uh, she didn't like our business of smelting gold. 
No, she, she ran away because she killed someone when robbing a store. You just didn't want to believe she would do such a thing. Well, guess what? She killed two more people today, and she's on the run. She's even tried to kill me. You corrupted my daughter. No, ma'am. Purge did that, I promise. We, we've had a string of bad luck. Did you know Billy died? Yeah, your grandson. Yeah, we heard that one. News travel fast when it's the death of a little boy. Hits you right at home. Darko! Demi, get away from him. He's evil. He took your big sister. Hey, Demi. It's, it's good to see you again. It really is. I, I didn't take anyone. Are, are you serious she isn't here? Well, where is she? Dad, Darko could say protect us while you go to the mines to get gold. Darko, there are crazies out there in the world and we need help. Oh, no. He couldn't protect Rachel or Billy. He can't protect you. Listen, Enzo, you're my father by law. Your family is my family. I won't lie to you. Billy's death was my fault, but it was also Rachel's. But I learned from my mistakes. I just want to talk to Rachel, and she has nowhere else to go. I'm certain she'll come home, so I'm happy to stay here until she does. Please, Dad. Please, please, please. Let me catch up with my big brother. He's not your brother. I am. Dad, I don't know about this. Okay, you can stay and help us keep us safe. Yay! Come on, Darko, let's go inside. What are you doing? He's family, and it's an extra pair of hands to help protect. Besides, you owe him after what you did to him. That was in the past. Exactly. So why haven't you moved on? I need to leave. We're losing daylight. We probably won't be back until late tonight or in the morning. I love you, Abby. You know I prefer Abigail. Now go. Both of you. Evan, keep your old man safe for me, will ya? I will, Mom. And Demi, you stay safe. Why do you wear that mask all the time now? Well, it's... Don't tell her that story. Not that one. Hey, Abigail. Demi, wanna know the real reason why me and your dad don't get along? Behind this mask is, well, a burnt scar. A few years ago, I was in a fire. Guess who caused that fire? Dad. Bingo. Is that the biodome? Whoa, that's crazy. Yep. That's it. That's my brother's house. Let's go, 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 go! Alright, let's be quick, because there doesn't seem to be any crazies around here, so let's take advantage of this. He must be extra safe, too, because how good is that glass? Yeah, we used to stay when we were kids till I actually wanted to go and purge. But he stayed here and turned it into this laboratory. It's extra safe during the purge. No one can get in and no one can get out until after the purge. Wow, so your brother actually has... Excuse me? Sorry, I'm just really nervous, but I hope Brocky can help and help us in figuring out a cure. We can work together, you know, scientists. Okay, uh, but yeah, cool. Listen, this dome is perfect. We can stay in here and be safe, and we can literally stay here the entire time until we find a cure. Yes! Excellent! Perfect! Let's go do it. Yeah, let's go check on your brother. When was the last time you've seen your brother? Uh, I'll be honest. It's been a couple of years as we have not been close anymore. He wanted to do science, and I wanted to purge. We kind of had this big fallout, and we haven't really spoke that much since. Okay, well, do you want to do the honors? Sure, that makes more sense. I'll have to do the secret handshake. Rocky! Rocky! Get out, you butt! G get your butt out here! Rocky, come on, get out! Hold your horses, I'm coming! What the? Core? Rocky, my darling brother. My little brother. Good to see you. Could you let us in, please? There's crazies and a kind of an apocalypse going on. Oh, yeah, I heard the news. Come on, come on in and bring your friends. Are they safe? Are they clean? Uh, most of them. Come on in, guys. Come on, guys. Quick, ladies. Roxanne, come on. Oh, hold on. Aren't you the wife of the president? Yes, I... well, I was. 
Terrible tragedy. I am so sorry for your loss. Now you will be safe in here. Well, because this is a dome. Just don't touch the plants, please. Don't step on the plants. Oh, guys, up the plants. Whoops, sorry. So, little bro, we've got a situation that we need to talk to you about. Of course, of course. I should show you around real quick. Okay, so you wanna... So, over here is my little house that I live in, but to the left is the laboratory. Ah, right, step inside. Ah, see, this is where I work. Oh my god, this is wonderful. I love all of this. Well, Tink, feel free to run around and explore this. What the? Oh, you have this? Oh, what the? Oh, wow, this is so cool. Take it you're a fan of science, then. A fan? I love it. We don't have anything like this at the White House. Well, the White House stuff's pretty second rate when you work with NASA, you know. What? You got a job at NASA? Congrats, little bro. Thank you, thank you. And they let me work in here, which is really cool because it's actually, you know, safe from the purge, crazies, cannibals, and all that kind of crap. Anyway, uh, let's go into my house and we can discuss further about what you needed to talk to me about. Uh, sure, yeah, everybody, let's head to the house. Oh, this is, you got some pretty big plants. Oh, thank you. I've been growing them for years. Make sure you don't touch them. This is very cool. I really like this a lot. <laughs> I really like the fact that we're safe. We're in a literally, literally dome full of glass. How, how strong is this glass? <laughs> On a scale of one to a thousand, two thousand. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. So, uh, wow, this is such a nice house too. Yep, bathroom's upstairs. I don't have any guest beds because I don't really get many visitors, but uh, yeah, thanks, big bro. Hey, bro, we talked about this. I wanted to purge and you didn't. We don't, we don't have anything in common. You could have gotten interested in science. You could have used science to purge. Um, Snoresville, you could have gotten more interested in killing people. How could you even ask me to kill people? Anyway, everybody gather around this table or the kitchen. I, I like the kitchen, actually. All right, so... Alright, so Cord, do you want to explain to your brother what's going on, or do you want me to do it? Uh, yeah, you do it. Alright, fine. Hey, Rocky, what's up? Uh, hey! So, oh, you guys have got matching glasses! Oh my god, wow, that's so cute! Because Ollie, one of them's wearing it, one of them isn't. Uh, yeah, I actually, like, wear the glasses, because, you know, they're glasses. I think they are cooler above my head. Do you actually, you don't actually need to wear them, though. Nah, it just looks cool. Uh, I actually do need to wear my glasses, though. I, I I have a prescription. Anyway, what what can I do for you? All right, so there's currently crazies going on in the world. The president's dead, and this guy called Dexter has just put a bounty on my head to tell everybody around the world to kill me. Yes, I saw the news. So you're the gizzy. So if I hand you into Dexter, I can get my prize, right? No, 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 no. We don't need to do that, Rocky. Listen. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. If you're a friend of my brother's, then you're a friend of mine. Yeah, awesome, cool. All right, so listen, we, me and Tink and us, everyone, so we have, we've been thinking. Actually, Tink, why don't you go stand with Rocky? Because you both, uh, you can talk about the same thing. So, cool, there you go. All right, so you both are scientists and we think that we can find an anti-cure, well, not an anti-cure, an antidote that will prevent people from getting that trigger. So everybody who used to purge, who wanted to go out and kill people to purge, has this trigger inside them. Cool, are you feeling okay? Because didn't you used to purge? I'm actually feeling fine. Yeah, I guess I didn't have the trigger. I, I guess not. So, everyone who has a trigger inside them will eventually trigger them to become crazy because they can no longer purge. They used to be able to handle it knowing it's once a year, but now, because it's like there's no more purge, it, the trigger inside them are going crazy, and it's made everyone crazy. And because of Dexter, he's told everyone, hey, it's okay to be crazy. Look, I'm crazy. It shoots the president and kills him. You could say that more sensitively. Sorry, Roxanne. Um, he's, he, he died. So now there's crazies roaming the world. There's no longer purge, but there's crazies, and we need to stop that. We, Tink thinks that she spoke with the president before he died. Um, he, he passed away. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so when Harold passed away before he did... He, him and Tink were thinking about getting an antidote. And since you're also a scientist, maybe you both can combine each other's, like, thoughts and see what you can come up with. 
Well, that's actually interesting. We could probably come up with some solution. Yeah, totally. Hey, Rocky, why don't we actually go to your laboratory and come up with a plan? There's a little bit of a problem, though. If we do come up with an antidote, we'll need to test it on somebody. Wait, Rocky, what do you mean? Well, you see here, we can't just simply make an antidote and just use it on everybody. There's, like, scientific testing, and, you know, you don't know what the adverse effects are. And on top of that, if we're going to use it around the world, we'll need, like, some sort of nozzle that, like, sprays it out over the whole place. And basically, filter spray is basically like this big dome that shoots up out of the ground, and then, you know... Well, I can do that. I'm also a great technician. Well, that's highly convenient, but we, we still have a problem, though. Like, Rocky, what is it? Like I said, we need to test the antidote, which means... We need to use it on a crazy. Wait. Oh. Oh, I get you now. So, we need to go get a crazy. Correct. If you want to know, we can spend the next couple of hours making a potion, but we need to test it on a crazy. So, you guys will have to go and get me a crazy. It's just never an easy, simple A, B, and C, isn't it? Just, uh, oh, go catch a crazy, lol. Yep, good luck with that! Uh. <coughs> cool, are you okay? Yeah, I, uh, just need the bathroom. Rocky, where's the bathroom? Um, upstairs to the left? Right, thank you. Just kidding, it's on the right. Go to the right, the left is my bedroom! Okay, so we gotta catch a crazy. Correct! Go find a crazy! Myself and Tink will build a potion! Well, hold on, why don't I stay and actually help build the filter spray? Then Roxanne, Lois, and Kor can go find the crazy. Hold on. I'm going to stay with you and make sure that you're okay. Um, no. You're going to come with me and you're going to make sure you are, you know, finding a crazy? Fine. Okay. You, me, and Kor will go out. Gizzy will fix the filter spray. Tink and Rocky will build the potion. Alright. That settles it. Ugh. My stomach. What's happening to me? Am I... Am I dying? This... This rage inside of me... I... Wait, no! Could this... No. No, 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 no. I'm... I'm... I'm going... Crazy!